Okay, let's do this. I don't have my headset, so the, it's a little bit boomy with the sound, but um, you'll survive. I was asked to do a quick little video on triggers with animations, all right? It's actually like the easiest thing. All right, so let me show you. I'm gonna start off just by creating a shape. That's gonna be my button. All right, so that's gonna be the trigger right over there. And then I'm going to put in um, something else. So uh, let's say that's gonna be what I animate. All right, there we go. Give it a beautiful orange fill. There we go, lovely. Now, this, the thing with triggers is you have to um, first create the animation. That's the most important thing. First, make the animation. Don't worry about the trigger or what's gonna trigger it, just create the animation first. So here, I've got my object, whatever that might be, a picture, a word box, anything, just any object, there it is there. I'm gonna to go to animations. I'm gonna choose what kind of animation I'd like. I'm gonna choose an entrance animation, so I'll just have it float in. There you go, perfect. And now, have a look. When you normally run this, okay, if I run this now, you can see there's my side, I click normally and there's my animation, but that's not a trigger. That's just a normal click and then it runs the next thing. And you can see, if I go over here, there's number one, animations, float in, start on click. That's fine. However, if we wanted to trigger this animation by clicking on something specific, then I want that to be my trigger. Okay, so watch what I do. So I've still got my animation selected. I've still got the object that I animated. It's still selected. And here you can see I'm in my animations um, tab, advanced animation, trigger. So what is the trigger going to be for this animation? So I'm going to say on click of, and I haven't named my shape anything, so it's oval three or cross four. It's gonna be oval three. That's the name of that circle. It's called oval three at the moment. So I'm gonna click oval three. Right, now let's have a look. Let's run my presentation, there we go. So now if I click, do you see? Nothing happened, no animation took place. I just went on to the next slide. Let's just go back. I told it that I wanted this to be the trigger. Okay, so look, as I move my mouse over that shape, the circle, oval three, it becomes a hand. That means I can do something. It's, it's a link of some kind. Click, there is my animation, triggered by the click of this object. Does that make sense? I hope it does. That's pretty easy.